Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. My name is Melissa. I'm here to lead you through Mindful Stretch. We will practice together for 15 minutes today. As we go through class, just a reminder to listen to your body. So as we go through these stretches, not every stretch works for every person. We've all been through different things. Our bodies are all a little different. So if something is not working for you, please skip it. You can modify coming out and just meet us in the next stretch. As we go through class today, you'll want to have a mat, so something that you feel comfortable practicing on. And if you would like, these are optional. If you'd like to have the exercise blocks, you can always have those. That just helps to bring the ground a little higher up. And sometimes it's nice to have a blanket or a pillow just to give a little padding to the body if you need that. But again, those are not a necessity for class, just an option. So as we go through our stretching practice today, I wanted to take some time and work on our quads today and focus on our quads. So when we work on our quads, we're also going to work on our hip flexor and our psoas. So that's on the front of the hip. And what happens a lot, if you find that you are sitting a lot through the day, these muscles contract. So these muscles get smaller and shorter along with our hip flexors and psoas. So as you're sitting, they contract and they get smaller. When we're standing and giving them a stretch, they tend to lengthen and get a little bit longer. So it's really important to really try to stretch this area because what can happen is, as you can imagine, as these muscles shorten and get a little tighter, that can actually kind of draw us forward. So that would negatively affect our posture. But if we can bring a length there, it can really help with our posture. So although we're working on our quads, hip flexors and so as you might say how could that affect our posture you know our spine is a little further away from that area but everything is so connected so this practice will be very good for your whole entire body and it will especially feel really great if you do feel like you've been sitting a lot today maybe at the desk or driving even if we think about our lifestyle right when we're sitting down we're eating when we're watching TV we're sitting down so it's just a lot of sitting down so it's very natural for these muscles to shorten when we go through class today, you know, the stretches, they may bring up sensation. Um, so that's very normal. You know, most people's quads are very tight. So if that's happening for you, just know that that's normal. Try to breathe through it. Again, you can come on out of it. But again, never moving to a space of pain or anything like that. So as we start today, I'd love to come into a tabletop position and we're going to do a little bit of a warm up for that area. And then as we go through our time together, we can sink into some deeper stretches and holds to open up that area. So as you come into table, if knees are sensitive, you can always pad your knees. And if you don't have a blanket, sometimes rolling the mat up on the sides can add a little bit of extra padding there. So let's take this time to bring our knees in line with our hips. We're going to take our hands in line with our shoulders. Right foot will take a big step up in between the hands. So either right hand can grab that foot and guide it up, or you can just sweep that foot forward. And as you're here, let's take this opportunity to bend and then straighten the front leg. Now, if you did have those exercise blocks, you can always grab onto them. It's going to bring the ground a little higher. And when we work with these blocks, we have three different heights. We have a small height, a medium height, and a high height. The number one alignment cue for this one is to make sure that you bend into the right knee but your knee and your ankle are stacked. So we just, we don't want this knee to come too far forward. That puts a little bit of unnecessary pressure on the knee and that's not a good thing to do. So we're gonna avoid that today. And we're just gonna flow here. So on exhale, leg will straighten, inhale, knee bends. Good. Now let's take a moment to straighten the front leg and we're just going to let ourselves fold forward here for a moment. Now see if you can relax your head and relax your neck. We have lots of little muscles in the neck and they work so hard to hold the head up all day every day. So in a stretch like this, we can just let it hang like a weight. So very heavy, and just letting that head hang, not any tension at all. Bend into your right knee. Let's take this opportunity to come into a twist. We'll bring our right hand up on the exhale. And this takes us into a knee down twist. 
And then as you're twisting here, let's see if we can really lengthen our spine on the inhale. And then allow for your twists to deepen on the exhale. We are going to float our hand down. And then let's hang out here for a moment. So we can take our right foot and we're just gonna walk it off to the right. And we're gonna let both of our hands be on the inside of the foot. Now, this is a variation of lizard and gecko. And what we're going to try to do here is see if you can relax your hips down. So I know this pose can be a little intense and scary. So you might feel like you're up here, but just see if you can just soften down. And that's really gonna help you to open up your quad on the left side and also the hip flexor on the left side. So we're just gently letting those hips drop down and we're giving ourselves nice deep inhales and exhales here. And I know that this one is an intense stretch, so just see if you can find softness here as best as you can. Let's come on out of this one. We're going to come back to table. So right knee will meet your left knee. And circling the spine a little bit. Let's start by lowering the stomach. We will lift up through the heart. Find a neutral spine. Ribs, let's guide them off to the right. So we're just gonna imagine that there was something on the right that we could push away. We'll come back through center. Let's take our chin to our chest, head relaxes and neck relaxes. Neutral spine, ribs, let's glide them off to the left. Back to center, lower your stomach. Let's lift up through the heart. Core engages, let's come to neutral and we'll circle in the other direction from here. So let's glide our ribs off towards the left. Back to neutral and center. Let's put our chin to our chest, round through your back. Find a neutral spine and ribs. Let's glide them off towards the right. Good, we're gonna float ourselves back to center, neutral spine, nice little spinal warm up. Left foot is going to come up in between the hands. So you can guide it forward or hop it forward. And let's get to take that opportunity here to bend and straighten the front leg. And then as you're flowing here, really try to connect with your body. So many times when we link our breath and movement, it really lets us drop into our body and into our breath, brings us into the present moment. So it's just a really nice way to connect with ourselves. Can almost feel a little bit like a moving meditation. So you get into this nice meditative flow. Relax. Take an opportunity to straighten out the front leg and we're going to fold over. And if you wanted to see if you can deepen your stretch, we have our left hip crease here and we're gonna gently draw it back a little bit. And then you might feel this right hip crease come forward slightly. And that can just be really good for balancing off your low back and hips. It can intensify the stretch if you want it a little bit more. Let's bend into our left knee, left hand up to the sky. Let's find that twist. Now, as you're twisting, try to roll your left shoulder back and let your right shoulder roll under a little bit. See if you can shine your heart right on up to the sky. Let's float the hand down. Left foot, let's walk it to the left side of the mat. Both hands to the inside of the foot. And then let's put into that lizard stretch for a moment. And holding this here. You know, this one can be an intense stretch. So just see if you can find a little bit of softness in the pose. Maybe try to relax your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. 
Try to relax through the shoulders, through the arms and hands. Relax the upper, mid and low back. Legs relaxed, feet relaxed. Let's begin to reset on this one. So we're going to float ourselves back and through into a tabletop position. Circle the hips here. So maybe imagine that you could draw the circle in space and find large circles and maybe find smaller circles here. And reverse, we will flow in the other direction. Good, from here, let's bring ourselves down to the mat. So we'll just take our reverse push up down to the ground. And we'll work a little bit with our quad stretch. So right knee will bend and we're going to encourage that foot into the body. Now, if you can, let's try to reach for the foot and we're just going to pull it in. If you can't reach for your foot, but you have an exercise strap close by or a piece of rope, a tie, a necktie, or a tie that goes around a rope can be helpful. You could just link that around your foot and pull it in. But if you don't have that, we're just gonna bend the knee and encourage that foot in. So in time, with practice, you can reach back for that foot. And then we're just going to breathe here on this one. So nice, deep full inhale, nice deep full exhale. Maybe very aware of how tight the quads are. So like I shared, you know, being sedentary, sitting a lot through the day can really tighten up the quads. But also if you're very active, that can tighten up the quads too. So I think this is something that will affect everyone. And I think this practice is beneficial for everyone. And we're just gonna give ourselves one nice inhale and exhale here. Good, let's relax the foot down. We are gonna try for that left leg. So bending the knee and reaching back for the foot when you are ready. As we hold this one, maybe notice in your body if the stretch feels very similar. So it may feel very similar on this side to the first side we worked on. It can also feel very different one side to the next side. So just becoming aware of that, the similarities, the differences in the two sides of the body. And sometimes, especially when we work with our hips and our legs, you may feel a very big difference one side to the next side. And that can be for many reasons. If you find that you're always Stepping forward with one foot or you're always reaching with one hand versus the other. Such a small movement, but over time, as we do that so many times through the day, we just create these patterns in our body. And that's why something like this mindful stretch practice is so important just to really try to stretch the different muscles, work with the different transitions, bringing in variety into the stretching practice. Let's begin to release that one. We are going to press on up into tabletop and let's take a child's pose on the exhale. Now for this one, we have a couple options. So if you wanted to, knees will be together. And we're just folding over the fronts of the legs. You can also take your big toes to touch, maybe knees away from one another. And then we'll focus more on a hip and a leg stretch. But uh, this one is a really nice stretch for those quads. So we were doing lots of different stretches today. And this one is just a nice one to hold, just to wrap our practice up. Try to let the mind be clear of thoughts. You always have thoughts moving through the mind, maybe thoughts for the past, thoughts for the future. Try to release your thoughts. Bring your awareness to your breath. Bring the awareness to the present moment. From here, we're gonna come to table. Sweep your feet to the right or to the left. We're gonna come down into a seated 
position. Legs can cross like mine or extend the legs out in front. Let's take our hands to the sky as you inhale. Float your hands to your heart as you exhale. Thank you so much for joining today. It's a pleasure to be here with you to share this mindful stretching practice. I hope that you're feeling more relaxed. I hope that you can feel, you know, that the quads are more open, that the hip flexors and psoas are more open. And I hope that you can bring that alignment and balance with you through the rest of your day today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope to see you soon. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back at 10 o'clock East Coast time for chair yoga. So we'll do a half hour practice using our chair at the desk and working with some stretches that you can weave into your workday to bring your mind and your body some relief and relaxation. See you soon.